Next, we head south where the search for speed takes us to Charlestown, Rhode Island. Where high school kids meet up to ride an electric go-kart. The Green Power Project started in England. It came to the United States about 10 years ago. We are the first cars in New England. Rhode Island Computer Museum Director Dan Berman is an advisor for the project. We've partnered with a couple of schools to design, build, and then race a uh, electric car. What was my fastest? Uh, around 235, I think. Christopher Massid is a media and technology teacher at Rhode Island's Exeter West Greenwich High. This is a kit car. Um, it comes with a curriculum, and so kids step forward to to handle various different roles. Students design the skin. We have a safety manager, pit crew manager. And of course, a driver. Oh yeah. My name is Gwen Isabel Fugel. I've been riding quads since I was like five, six years old. Today, she's driving at Ninigrit Park, a former naval base where the late President George Herbert Walker Bush once trained prior to flying combat missions during World War II. The racetrack is amazing to go around. It's nice, smooth. Fellow student Andrew Bakari logs the lap times. Depending on the person, it's they're more consistent or less consistent. And drivers like Gwen adapt for extra speed. I learn like tricks and like ways that I can go around corners faster without having to brake or let off the gas. These cars have been clocked at up to 35 miles per hour. But more important than setting the course record is the experience gained by students, including James Green. It felt great looking at it and saying I contributed to that. The idea that they can build something with their own hands and then race it is just an outstanding way for learning.